For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Alba. It seems that ever since the year began, Shannon Sharp has become the butt of internet jokes from social media users and even some veteran stand-up comedians. Well, on the latest episode of Nightcap, hosted by Sharp and Chad Ochocinco, the two former NFL stars would reveal that all the jokes coming at Sharp's expense have actually benefited him monetarily. If you've been on the internet recently, you were completely aware of Sharp going viral for the year once again after footage of him promoting a Total Wine location went viral. Fans had a lot to say and would roast the way Sharp stepped out of an SUV along with his orange bag wrapped over his chest that resembled a woman's purse. The incident would inspire several social media users to imitate and impersonate Sharp, including That Boy Funny and Lou Young, whose own impressions were shared on the Shade Room's Instagram page. It seems like Sharp becomes a part of the viral conversation at least once a month. Now, in regards to all the clips going around roasting and parodying him, he would go on to say, uh, uh, Total Wines hit us up. They said, well, hold on. Yes, sir. We want some of that. So thanks to y'all, I'm about to be in California, <laughs> Louisiana, Ooh. Baltimore. So keep on doing it. I need y'all to keep on doing it. Hey, don't you stop now. Yeah. Take y'all ass, raggedy ass, right back in front of them Total Wines and yeah. do it all over again. Because thanks to y'all, your boy. Ooh. In addition to those imitating Sharp Online, many had something to say when it came to the original video. When shared, one user would joke, he looked like Miss Netta. Another would write, it's crazy people find zest in everything. He got his hip replaced and over five surgeries. Low key, he trying to walk normal. One more social media user would add and chime in, the culture is obsessed with attacking a man's sexuality. He walks like that because he just had his hip surgery and four addition surgeries after. Homie is trying his best to walk normally. I disagree with the man bag, but this is an example of an old head trying to stay young. Put the bag down, unk. Now Sharp will go on to say that everyone making memes about him were trying to be cute and funny, but they're actually going to make him retire before he plans on it, alluding to the amount of money he's making with this new endorsement. Completely aware of the conversations being had around him, Sharp would then tell listeners he just received a check from the Cat Williams interview that broke the internet with over 52 million views on the full conversation alone. Sharp's words, whatever you think I made, three times it. So if you think I made $500,000, three times it. If you think I made a million, three times it. If you think I made two million, three times it. Lastly, he was shared that he made more money from that interview alone than any year he's played in the NFL. So what do you guys think about Shannon Sharp's response to people roasting him and the continued jokes on his sexuality? Let us know in the comments below. Plus, stay up to date for the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and check out the hype market for all your cool and original merchandise. And to our viewers on YouTube, if you like this story, send us a super thanks by hitting the button below and you can tip us what you want to show your support. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Abba. What's happening? What's up? It's your boy Deanne Turner, and I'm here to tell you about this mic right here. This is the hottest mic in the world. Why? Because it's in Atlanta, Georgia, baby. And no other comedy scene is better than Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I've been to New York. I've been to California. I've been to Texas. I've even done comedy in Dubai. But Atlanta's comedy scene is the purest form of entertainment that you'll ever get. Some of the best comics have stepped on this stage, from OGs to up and coming. And they destroying the mic. I'm your host, each and every week, D'Anthony Turner. They worry about Elstein. List puffy list gonna be fed up. Man, got TD Jakes in the beginning. I can imagine who gonna come out in March. But Bishop TD Jakes can't even go to church no more. <laughs> Every time I see that, I think about some head. That's <laughs> it. I walked in on my so they said, what you want? I said to be swallowed up. Check it out for yourself. Either come to the city or catch us on TV, baby. Each and every week, hype Mike, we are we destroying the mic.